Ever since the first Amtrak examples entered service in 1976, the EMD F40PH has become a world famous icon of American passenger railroading. Indeed, they are certainly one of my personal favourite American diesel locomotives. Although saying that, I think one of my favourite American built diesels is actually the General Electric U26C, specifically the DX variant that was built for New Zealand Railways in the 1970s. Most of these are still in service with Kiwi Rail under the DXB, DXC or DXR subclasses. Over the past 45 years, there have been several variants of the F40PH built, with plenty of eventual rebuilds to boot. Possibly the most bizarre member of this family is the Tri-Rail F40PHL-2, which isn't really an F40 in the traditional sense, as these engines were created using X Burlington Northern F45 body shells on X Conrail GP40 frames. Currently, there are two variants of the F40PH family in TSW2, namely the Caltrain F40PH-2 CAT and MBTA F40PH-3C, and here's hoping we get more of them in the future, like the Altamont Corridor Express or Music City Star engines. This is the EMD F40PH-2 CAT in Caltrain colours, which is included with the Peninsula Corridor route alongside the Union Pacific GP38-2. This route was first released in August 2019, and includes 47 miles of track between San Francisco and San Jose in California. Caltrain 900 was originally built in 1985 as a base F40PH-2. She has since been modified with a Caterpillar head-end power generator and redesignated as an F40PH-2 CAT. This variant is notable for the fact that it doesn't have the rear walking platform anymore.
now we'll see 900 leaving Lawrence with a local service bound for San Jose. This engine is not to be confused with the New Zealand Railway's K-Class steam locomotive of the same number. And here we have the only MBTA F40 variant in TSW, which is the MPI F40PH-3C. This locomotive comes with the Boston Sprinter route alongside the Amtrak ACS-64, and that route was released in August 2021. These engines are actually rebuilt F40PH-2C or F40PHM-2Cs and were originally built in 1987 and 1988. In a specific case of 1076 here, it turns out that's actually a fictional number. Bizarrely, due to the way the rolling stock numbering in this game works, you can sometimes get 1073 in timetable mode. This is despite the fact that the real 1073 never got rebuilt as an F40PH-3C for she was written off and scrapped after the Boston Back Bay train derailment of 1990. To finish off our look at the MBTA F40PH-3C, let's watch you leaving Sharon Station with a service bound for Providence, Rhode Island. Unfortunately, the scenario designer was proving problematic, so I couldn't get the Caltrain and MBTA engines together in a lineup for the outro. Despite this, I'd still like to say thank you for watching and I hope you enjoy the video. Stay tuned for more TSW2 videos or other railway topics coming soon.